that glorious voice belongs to Broadway singer-actress Melissa Errico, singing from her latest CD, One Touch of Venus, released just as the announcement is made that she's to star in the upcoming Broadway-bound production of Bull Durham, and she's here to tell us all about it. Hi, Melissa. Great to have you here. Hi. So let's start with Bull Durham. That's so exciting. You're going to be in the Susan Sarandon role, which is so fabulous. We have Correct. some gorgeous pictures uh, of you. Tell us about this production. Well, you know, the first thing that really strikes me about it is um, is that it's a chance to originate a role. It's a it's a role. It's never been uh, you know seen in a musical and. I'm being blessed with the opportunity to, to put her story to music um, and to the stage. So it's very, very exciting and such an opportunity and such an honor. It's really the part of a lifetime. Fantastic. Um, and not to mention the source material is beyond hilarious, delightful, fun-loving, smart, Gorgeous. sexy. Uh, you know, it's a baseball movie, not necessarily something I would originally be drawn to, <laughs> though I did marry an athlete. That's right. Um, uh, uh, married Patrick McEnroe, yes, tennis player. the tennis player. Uh, so I like tennis, different though, sport, but different it's okay. Sport, Still but balls likes, are involved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, your CD was just released. Congratulations! These songs are so dear to your heart. One oh, Touch of yes. Venus. Tell us about that. Well, you know what's interesting about One Touch of Venus? For anyone who's interested in vintage musicals and the the work of Kurt Weill, who wrote, of course, Three Penny Opera, uh, One Touch of Venus was. Um, was written for Marlena Dietrich. And at some point in Marlena's career, as they were completing it, Ogden Nash and uh, Perlman wrote the book and the lyrics, and uh, Kurt Weill wrote this opera. She found it too sexy. And Mary Martin did, did the opera. It's an operetta Broadway show, and it was never recorded. And there were some vocal selections, but so I did it again um, over 15 years ago. I did it for the first time, and I've played the role repeatedly. But a, re a recording to was rave made. Reviews. Oh, thank yeah. you. Um, uh, a recording was made at Abbey Road Studio in London with the National Symphony Orchestra, and it's the first ever recording in history. So for musical theater buffs, for collectors, this is it. For, for his, all the orchestrations, the overture, things that were never preserved are finally preserved. So and it's exciting. So exciting. And you've been so busy because you also just finished singing at Below 54 and finished shooting the series, Steven Soderbergh's new series, The Nick. Can That's you tell right. us about that? Oh, my God. Well, you know what? It's interesting. I, I am a recurring role mm -hmm. on The Nick. It's going to be on Cinemax mm -hmm. this uh, summer. It stars Clive Owen. And what is so fascinating about it is that they recreate um, uh, the turn of the century, New York City. It's set in, in 1899 to 1901. It's right in that period. And it's, uh, it, it looks at the life of a hospital, the Knickerbocker Hospital. So it deals with the medical profession and with William Halstead's story. He was an actual surgeon. Who, and you say that, that Stephen uh, was so specific about the, the time and the oh, place, right? Oh, yes. Down you would walk down the city streets and it would look like there was no electricity. There, was, there were horses and carriages and, you know, it, it was it, fascinating. There was no cement and it was all dirt roads and it was he really recreated New York City and no expenses spared and I played the chief of surgery's wife and William Halstead in history was a, a great surgeon the father of modern medicine and surgery but he got involved with cocaine and opium Ooh. and that was very common and they live very dark complicated double lives so I am the wife of a man with a double life and and Clive Owen very is the exciting. ultimate star. And yet I just have to say before we wrap you managed to do it all so gracefully also the mother of three young <laughs> girls married to Patrick McEnroe you, you have your hands full but you do it all and you do it so gracefully well they matter the most Melissa so. Erica th thank you so much for coming to speak thank with us you. today wish you all the continued success